Are you sure you don't want anything to drink? Nope. I'm not in the mood to socialize today. Okay. Mabel told me your mom is ill and you need some money for her treatment. Yes. So tell me about it. You just said Mabel told you already. I'd like to hear from the horse's mouth. My mom has lung disease and we need money for her surgery. How much? Three million naira. Wow. Well, I can give you one million naira every day. What do you mean one million naira every day? If you can spend the entire day and night with me, then I'll pay you one million naira every day. <laughs> you can decide if you want to leave it at three days or more. The choice is yours. I need a glass of vodka and cigarette. Waiter. What did you tell her about your driving job? I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to help her make up her mind. Trust me. You're going to be just fine without her. Yeah. <clears throat> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Nothing. I'm serious. I never knew you smoke. I did. I stopped four years ago. I have to go back to the old version of myself to do what you're asking. You know, I think the old version of yourself is more interesting than who you are now. Hmm. Yeah. This arrangement. Can we take it outside Lagos? Sure. If it is some location will make you more comfortable, then that's okay by me. Mm. I have my conditions though. But why the whole day? It doesn't take that long to have sex, does it? So, for me, this is more than sex. It's like a, like a whole package. I have my conditions though. We're using protection and no kissing. <laughs> See, you know, I, I was actually looking forward to a girlfriend kind of vibe. Not a call girl arrangement. Okay, I mean, we can do things, we can hang out together, go shopping, see movies, have fun, you know, eat outside, you know? That's, that's what I want, get to know each other better. Whatever that means, we're still using protection, and I am definitely not kissing you. <sighs> My conditions. Wait up. Hi. How's my mom? Oh, she's okay, but she's sleeping right now. Pastor Joel and Brother Matthew came over to pray for her. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Is that the smell of cigarette and alcohol? Bill, 
I'm coming from a lounge where people smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol. You see what I'm talking about? Huh? What if Pastor Joel and Brother Matthew were still here and they perceived this ungodly smell all over you? How are you supposed to explain yourself? Huh? I'm traveling with Mabel for three days. I'm gone on Friday morning to come back on Monday. Where, where are you traveling to? I'm attending a wedding in Abuja. Mabel invited me over. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Bro. <sighs> Mabel is giving me three million naira for my mother's surgery. I think spending three days with her is very little price to pay. Mama, you're still awake. Yes. How are you? Mommy, I have good news. Easy. Easy, sorry, easy. Sorry. easy. <sighs> So, I have a friend who will help me out with the money that we need for your surgery. Oh. All of it? Yeah, I just have to travel with him to Abuja for three days, Friday to Sunday, and then I'll come back with the money. <laughs> travel with him? Um, her. I mean, travel with her. Rachel. I hope you know you don't have to do anything stupid because of me. Mommy, I'm not doing anything stupid. I'm just traveling with a girlfriend for a wedding in Abuja. And on my way back, she'll give me the money. See? That's all. Okay. If you said so. <laughs> Please help me. Um, my wrist. Easy. Easy. It's pain me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Have you had anything to eat at all? No. Huh? No. Let me get you something, Mama. Hmm? Taxi driver. Wow. My own husband. A taxi driver. Ah! But wait, to Guinness. <laughs> Didn't he make any meaningful connection all the while he was an executive at the telecoms company? I tell you, I mean, there should be someone, somewhere, wherever, he, who owes him a favor, he can call him. Instead, he squandered our savings on Ponzi scheme. This is serious. Tasha, please, take me with you when you're going back to Canada. <laughs> Eunice, please, don't be ridiculous. I'm serious. I can't stand this shame and humiliation. Especially when Mabel finds out that my husband is now a taxi driver. Eunice, you're still very much married to Michael. You can't just pack your bags and leave. <sighs> what will Mabel say? She will mock me. Eunice, you seem to be more concerned about what Mabel will say. That's because you don't know her. She derives pleasure in people's misery. She would like to offer her help and brag about it. See, she doesn't know that Michael lost his job, so I would like you to keep it that way. Yeah, sure. I understand. <sighs> See, babes, calm down. Calm down. Taxi. <sighs> Just calm down. Hello, Mama. Tonya, how are you? I'm fine, Mama. I'm very fine. How about you? I'm fine, my dear. You sound so happy. 
I'm a new me too. I'm very happy. Has your madam paid your sanding salaries? <sighs> no, mama. And then she has moved out of the house and it doesn't even look like she's coming back. Hey, and you are happy about that? Ah, yes. <laughs> now I have the opportunity to show Michael how much I love him. And he can love me back. Hmm. No. See, you have to come back home. You were employed there as a house girl, not to snatch your madam's husband. Mama, she doesn't love him. And he knows I'm the right person for him. Hey, Tonya, you have to come back home. Oh. It's like your mental condition is back and it's not good for anybody there. Mama, if you ever talk to me like this again, I'll block your number from calling me. Wait, what I was just saying is... Uh, Natasha, how are you enjoying Nigeria? Oh, <laughs> well, it's been good. Are you sure? Yeah, it feels good to be back home. I know. And I'm glad you and my sister are still good friends, even after all these years. That's how you know true friendship. True. <laughs> so how is the third member of your girl gang? What's her name again? Rachel. Yes, Rachel. How's she doing? <laughs> she's fabulous. Aww. You know, she's out of town because if she was in town, trust me, she'll be here. That's great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's good. So what do you think? It's nice. Lovely. It's good. Shopping spree. That reminds me. Oof. What's the latest news on her mother's health? <clears throat> well, Rachel's mother will soon get the adequate care that she deserves. Has she been able to raise money for the surgery? Not exactly, but I'm sure she's raising the money right now. Rachel went on a three days getaway with Gerald to Abuja. I don't understand. Why don't you understand? Okay, so I spoke to Gerald about Rachel's money problem and he decided to help. The three days getaway with Gerald is what I don't understand. What is there not to understand? Okay. Gerald likes Rachel. Isn't it normal or doesn't it make more sense if they spend time together so they can know each other? Is it just me? Or does that sound like Rachel is cheating on Bowale with Gerald? <laughs> Eunice, first of all, Bowale is not fit to be called anybody's husband. And secondly, we both know that Rachel deserves better. I'm just surprised. I never thought Rachel is that kind of a person. Well, let's just say that circumstances change people. Okay. Austin has always been the black sheep of the family. He was rusticated from school over cult related activities and straight into the life of crime. While I was in school getting a degree, he was out on the street dealing drugs for money. He sponsored my education and insisted I get a master's degree. He must really care about you. He likes looking out for people. I just wish he could retrace his step back and live a clean life. I actually know how it feels to have a wayward sibling. I had a younger sister who was living in the fast lane. And when she was 19 years old, she was dealing with men old enough to be our father. And while she was 21, <laughs> she died from a bad abortion. <laughs> it's fine. So sorry about that. It's fine. I blame myself for not doing enough for her as a sister. And for looking away whenever she did something reckless. That's why it's so hard for me to let Austin continue on this path. Um, when did he say he's coming back to the country? Anytime soon, I guess. 
anytime soon. I'm sorry I don't mean to pry, but why does Mibel feel it's okay to pimp out Rachel? It baffles me too. She is bent on ruining Rachel's marriage. Do you know the way she speaks about her husband is so not okay? Now you know why she can never know about my situation. Mommy, you're awake. Rachel, <laughs> you're back. Yes. I got home like an hour ago, but you were sleeping and I didn't want to wake you. How was your trip? It was okay. I have great news, Mommy. <laughs> I have the money we need for your surgery. And you'll be traveling in the shortest time possible. You have the money now? Yes. All of it. As a matter of fact, I've contacted the doctor and he said we can bring you in for pre-medical care while we plan for the surgery proper. <sighs> Mommy, you don't, you don't look excited. Your husband complained bitterly when you were gone. About what? He's not happy with the kind of friends you seek help from. He said they are worldly people. Mommy, don't mind Boali. I don't even understand why he would want to burden you with such irrelevant issue, given your condition. I don't want you and your husband to have misunderstanding because of me. That is not my problem right now. My top priority is to make sure that you get well. And I don't want you worrying about my marriage either, mommy. Hmm? Right now, I want you to focus your energy on getting better. Because we have the money now, mommy. Hmm? So I need you to smile. You're going to get well, mommy. We're traveling, we'll have the surgery, and you'll be well again. <laughs> and you'll leave this bed. <laughs> You're going to get well. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Is Michael in? Hi, Michael. Hi. Quite some time. <laughs> this is a um, uh, housekeeper, Tonia. Tonia, this is Natasha, my wife's younger sister. Oh, welcome, ma. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Um, what can I offer you? No, thank you. I'm good. Alright. Yeah. Oh. It's really good to see you again, Tash. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. 
Yet you kept ignoring my calls every time I tried to reach you while I was in Canada. Like I was some sort of bad habit you were trying so desperately to get rid of. I just figured that it would be best if we stopped communicating. That was childish, Michael. I thought it was the best way to help you get over the unfortunate incident. That's by the way. Um, Eunice told me about what's going on between you guys, so I felt it was nice to come check on you. Did Eunice send you? No, she didn't. As a matter of fact, she doesn't even know I'm here. Your sister is a fair weather wife. Her vow of for better, for worse means absolutely nothing to her. Michael, it's not like you didn't know this about Eunice. I thought she loved me. Michael, you kept buying your way back into her life every time she tried to leave you while you guys were dating. So, so, there's something wrong with me fighting for the one I love? Even if the love's not mature? You were throwing gifts at her every time. I mean, it's only natural for her to assume she was in love with you. Are you saying she married me because of my money? That's not what I'm saying, Michael. I never said that. How is your taxi thing doing? It's going well. I didn't go to work today because I was a bit under the weather. Tash, I can't take this from you. Michael, you can and you will. Okay. Thank you. Don't mention. Um, I don't intend to tell Eunice I was here, so I hope you don't mind. Oh, I haven't spoken to her since she left, so I don't care either way. Well, I'm here to oversee some of my pet projects, so... I'm very much around. Okay. Please do take care of yourself, Michael. You too, Tash. Thank you. Sent for me. Sit. Okay. <clears throat> I've been racking my brains on the best possible way to make my brother see reasons why I should quit this illegal drug business. And I think I may have come up with a good idea to make that happen. I'm listening. I'm going to tell his wife what he does for a living. Mabel. Yes. How does that solve anything? He loves her. Mm hmm. They have a child together. Okay. Maybe Mabel can appeal to the family man inside of him. Hmm. Uh, we can give it a try, but <laughs> I doubt if it will actually work. You don't always have to knock before coming in. What if you're not decent? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing you haven't seen before. I don't know what you're talking about, Tonya. Well, let's pretend you don't. Anyway, here, I, I want you to have this. 
Um, what for? For your upkeep. It's 20,000 naira. Uh, are you sure you don't need it for something more important? <laughs> Tune, there is nothing more important than what I'm doing right now. And that is showing gratitude to someone who was there for me at my lowest moments. Thank you. No. Thank you. Natasha gave me some money before she left. I know. You know, I think you've made a habit of eavesdropping on every conversation that happens in this house. <laughs> no, maybe everyone is so loud that I can hear them even without eavesdropping. Right. Good night. Okay, but wait. What happened between you and Natasha? Happened how? Um, from the moment you saw her, I noticed you were a bit disturbed. It's nothing really, it's just, I was surprised, okay? I've not seen her in many years. <laughs> okay, so what was the unfortunate incident you wanted to get over? Derek, how may I help you? How's your day going, Mabel? That's none of your business. What can I do for you? Why do you have a problem with being courteous? Did you call me to lecture me about Katsi? We need to see. What about? It's not a discussion we can have over the phone. Can we see today? How important is it? Very important. It concerns your safety and the safety of your family. So, um, Ines, when was the last time you spoke to Michael? Can you please not ruin this beautiful time out? Babes, you know you can't keep running away from your problems and pretending they don't exist. But I can make myself happy by staying far away from the problem as much as possible. <sighs> Has it tried to reach you? No. What exactly is wrong with you two? I don't understand why no one is willing to step forward for reconciliation. It's not like we had a fight or anything. I'm just tired of his misfortune. So you don't want to stay married to him anymore? I didn't say that. Then you're still in love with him? I don't know! Babes, for goodness sakes, you cannot just abandon Michael at this time when he needs you the most. Sasha, I don't want to talk about this. Can we change the topic? So. 
What was this about? I want you to know what I'm about to tell you. It's something you should not know about. But you do now know because it's for your own good. And because the person in question is my brother, and I don't want any harm to come to him. What's wrong with Austin? Nothing is wrong with Austin. Yet. Yet? What do you mean by yet? Something bad might happen soon if he doesn't have a major change in his life. And that is where you come in. Can you just hit the nail on the head? I need you to promise me that you won't react or blow things out of proportion because of the secret I'm about to share with you. Okay, now I'm being worried and I don't like it. What? Just promise me, please. Okay, I promise. Your husband, my brother, Austin, mm -hmm. is not a sailor. He's a drug trafficker. And? Oh, that's it? That's the big secret? This doesn't surprise you? No. I know what my husband does for a living. You do? Of course. How clueless do you think I am, Derek? Oh, oh, the clothes are dried. Yes, the sun was really up today. I see. Thank you. Um, for what? For the laundry. <laughs> okay, but then I know of a better way you can thank me. Okay, what way is this? By not hiding things from me. What are you talking about, Onia? <laughs> you and Natasha. Come off it. I told you it was nothing. <laughs> you are lying. Look, what happened is not something I like to remember, okay? And besides, we both swore that we'll never speak to you to another soul. But then you can't tell me anything. You know your secret is safe with me, and then you know that for a fact. How long have you known about this? Uh, a few months after we got married. And you said nothing? Well, I noticed that he was always trying to hide it from me, so I just I just had to play along. That was a terrible idea. Maybe you would have stopped this illegal business if you had told him to. Mm. So you're blaming me now. I see. Look, but you have known longer than I have. Why didn't you stop him? Austin and I agreed that it was time for him to quit. That is why we established this company. Exactly. That's the same reason why I didn't try to stop him. I knew he was already trying to become legit. Except for the fact that he's turning this legit company to expand his drug trade. Why? Why would he want to do that? Look, we need to talk to him. He's been lucky so far. It's time for him to get out. Eunice and I had a big fight all those years ago when we used to date. She broke up with me and my life came to a standstill. <laughs> Natasha became an acquaintance who I used to keep in touch with so she could help me continue to plead with Eunice. And then one day Natasha came to visit me and then one thing led to the other, and... Well. And you slept with her? I didn't plan to. Yeah. And I felt even more worse when I discovered the fact that she was a virgin. You took her virginity? Regrettably. 
Anyway, Eunice came to her senses a few days later, resumed dating, and then got married a few months later. Okay, so Natasha fell in love with you or what? Uh, something like that. She relocated to Canada to further her education and I bumped into Holy once when I went there on, on a business trip. Did you sleep with her again? No. Even though she wanted it. Which is why I severed communications with her after I left there. Okay, that was a good decision. And then you need to keep it that way. Yeah. So maybe I knew all this while and she pretended not to. I couldn't believe it myself. I always knew there was something up with that lady. Kai, did she agree to talk with Austin? She has no choice. Yes, she does. She had the choice to speak up against it, but she didn't. She thought he was getting out by establishing real estate and the automobile business, just like I did. Okay. But have you gotten a specific day when Austin's come back to Nigeria? He's not picking my calls. I guess he's still mad at me, even though all I'm doing right now is trying to save his life. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. This is like the best news I've heard in a very long time. Yeah, I mean, obviously I can't wait to see her all hail and hurting. All right, okay, my regards to mom. All right, take care, Yemisi. Yemisi on the phone. She said mom's surgery was very successful and she's recuperating just fine. Wow, that's great. I know. So, when are you likely to resume work after the long leave of absence you took to look after your mom? I resigned. You did what? I quit the teaching profession. When did you make such a decision? Mom's health issue was a wake-up call for me. And I realized I can't spend the rest of my life on survival salary. It doesn't make me happy. Okay, so you have a job waiting for you to pick up a Chevron or what? Boo, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You know, I, I feel utterly disrespected that you can make such a decision without even thinking it through to discuss with me before resigning. I am sorry, Boali. It's nothing personal. And I never meant to disrespect you or do anything like that. I just hope you don't regret this. I'm off to work. Have a nice day. Yes. I'm on the assignment as we speak. I'll call you tomorrow to tell you when to strike. Okay. Talk to you later.
So you're waiting for me to contact you first. Hmm? I was out of the country. Let me guess, you traveled to a place where phones don't work? I got busy with work. Too busy to spare a minute to call? <sighs> okay, my bad. <laughs> but be careful what you wait for. Because you might not like it if I start keeping tabs on you. It's not like I'm asking you to be a hopeless romantic, Gerald. I'm just saying that it would have been nice to get a phone call from you after our last trip to Abuja. Yeah. That's right. How's your mom? Um, her surgery went well. She's recuperating. That's, that's good. I need a favor. How much? It's not money. I need a job. I was wondering if maybe you can fix me in one of your establishments where I can earn something monthly, a salary. I don't miss business with pleasure. You see that building that's in front? Okay. That's where I'm going, just park in front of it. All right, cool. Um, madam, that would be 4,200. Okay, one minute. Hello? I'm in front of your office. Come down and pay the taxi. Are you mad? What do you mean by I must be joking? Do not let me come upstairs because if I do, you will not like me. Just respect yourself and come down now. I cannot give you 10 minutes. We have only five minutes. Sorry, Jerry, he's coming. So, I have to wait five minutes? No vex, I beg. Wait, what? So, I'm only good for your sexual pleasure? I never say that. So, what are you saying? See, I'm speaking from experience. Arrangement like that never ends well. Gerald. Mine will be different. I promise you, I will respect myself. I'm not going to walk around with an attitude just to show off that I know the chairman. I promise you. I think I have a better idea. Why don't we plan another getaway weekend? So whatever you make from it, you can use it to set up your business. It's been more than five minutes, and unfortunately, I can't continue to wait indefinitely. Don't be angry. Let me call him again. Okay. That's him. Why are you behaving like this, Eloho? Like eh? how? Like what? Why would you come to my place of work without, without priorities? Not his key, you dare. How many times did I call you yesterday? Did you pick my calls? I told you to stop calling me. Why will I stop calling you after you put me in this condition? 
I told you I needed money for drugs and to feed real like the doctor advised. And you refused to send the money. Hello, I pay you my full month salary at the end of every month. And that's not even enough for you. I had to lie to my wife every month to tell her that I paid her slice. What more do you want from me? <laughs> um, I, I, I'm sorry, I apologize for, you know, bargaining like this, but uh, I really appreciate it if you can just pay me so that I can go. It's okay. How much is the transportation fare? Um, 4,200 naira. What? Hello? Why would you buy a taxi that would cost that much? Was I supposed to take a commercial bus in this condition? Okay, um, please, you have to excuse me. I have to go in and talk to some of my colleagues. All right? I, I'll, I'll be right back with the money. Sure. Not a problem. Can you imagine? I asked him to help me get a job, and he invited me to another getaway. Then he must really like you. You mean enjoy having sex with me? Same thing. So that means if I need five million naira for business, I'll have to spend five days and nights with him? But why would you need five million naira for business? What do you what kind of business? Why not aim higher, like 20 to 30 million? So that would mean spending 20 to 30 days with him. A month! Well, do you know how many people will be very grateful for this opportunity that you have? The most annoying part was that the man was lying to his wife that he was paying the church his whole salary as tight. Meanwhile, he was giving it to his pregnant mistress. <laughs> wow. But maybe the wife wasn't treating him well. So he had to seek for comfort in another woman's arms. Wait, are you saying that it's okay that he got another woman pregnant? No, no, no. But I'm saying, just because someone is married to you, doesn't mean they are good for you. Are you sleeping? No. Can we talk? Is everything all right? Mm -hmm. If someone was willing to give us a loan to start up a business, like what business idea would you pitch and how much capital would you ask for? Why are you asking? Yanisha's husband has this friend who is a top bank executive and she's willing to help us facilitate a loan. Bank loan? Do you know what it takes to get a loan? Huh? You know how much collateral they ask for. She says she would do everything that we just need to come up with a good business plan. Rachel, I don't I, I really don't have the energy for any bank wahala right now, please. Wale. You can't continue like this. Check it out. Every successful person is a risk taker. So, how much loan are you applying to get? Like, two to five million naira. But first, we need a good business plan. Mm.
Hold on. Hi, Michael. Ash. <laughs> I didn't know you were close by when you called. Well, I wasn't so sure you were going to pick up my call. Come on, Tash, we're way past that. Come in, come in, sit. Thank you. So, um, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to drop by and meet you, you're doing very well. Thank you so much. I appreciate the gesture. How's your sister, by the way? Your wife, you mean? <laughs> Are you sure she can still be called that? What are you talking about, Michael? Six weeks. It's been six weeks she packed her things and left this house and didn't look back. Michael, I've been trying to get her to come back to the house. But she's always picking up a fight with me anytime I raise the issue. Well, then tell her to send the divorce papers already. No, no, Michael, don't be like that. Listen, I'm very sure you two are going to pull through. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, Tash, I doubt that very strongly. Pardon my manners. What can I help for you? Okay, tell your household to get me a glass of juice. Yeah, she went uh, grocery shopping, so I'll get to that glass myself. All right. Thank you. So I told him Eunice's husband has plans to help us facilitate a loan from the bank if we're able to come up with a good business plan. I don't understand your plan. I am trying to prepare Boale's mind before I get the money from Gerald. Otherwise, he would ask me thousands of questions on how and where I got five million naira from. So you're still planning on taking this common five million naira? Think about it, Mabel. Do you think Gerald would want to spend 10 days, 20 or 30 days with me? If you say so. My next plan is to get Eunice's husband to be a part of the plan. So that way I can link him to Boale. Do you really have to go that far? Can't you just collect the money from Gerald and tell Boale the loan was approved? No. The thing is, I need Boale to start making new and meaningful friends. Mm -hmm. The exposure would really help his mentality. You know, and because he needs to be inspired and motivated afresh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. So, these are the pictures from one of my pet projects. Mm. It's a fashion school project in partnership with some friends. We'll be launching soon. Nice. Oh. Welcome. Tony. What was that? I'm I'm so sorry. I I have no idea. I'll be right back. <sighs> Tonya, what was that? What is she doing here? She came to visit me. What is wrong with you? Go and tell her to leave right now, else I'll go and tell her myself. for real. Michael, you told your maid about our secret. <laughs> yes, he did. And it's not going to happen anymore, so stop coming here. Shut up! Tonya! Give it to me. Please. 
Give it to me. Hello, scum. Natasha, please, let me explain. Explain what? Exactly, Michael. That I've been keeping that secret for years without telling anyone. And you told your maid? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry. Michael, are you sleeping with her? What? No. Liar. Michael, you are a liar. She called you her man. You're nothing but a shameless idiot. No wonder my sister left your house. Listen, do me a favor. Do not call this number again. Have you spoken to your husband like I asked you to? Yes. And he'll be home soon. I, I think it's best we have this conversation in person. He's been saying that for months now. And he's serious this time. I hope so. Because the longer he stays, the deeper he gets into this mess. And the more difficult it is for him to be pulled out. Um, thank you, Derek. For what? I see what you're trying to do for my family. And I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you. Tonya, what you did was unacceptable. <laughs> Unnecessary. I, I told you about all, all of that in confidence. I'm sorry. And then you tried to stab her? Well, she slapped you. And so, so the response to that is attempted murder? I'm sorry, I just can't stand anybody disrespecting you like that. You know, I really shouldn't have told you the secret between myself and Natasha. I'm sorry, please. What if she tells Eunice? She can't. She knows I know her secret now and then she wouldn't want Eunice to find out. Please, I'm sorry. Sasha, what is wrong with you? Aren't you bothered about your husband? Is that what is wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Pretend I didn't ask. Eunice, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Like the real reason you left your home. The real reason? Tasha, you know how I feel anytime you bring up this topic. Yes, I know. Is your husband the only one at home? Or is there anyone else there with him? He's there with the maid. Hines, does that not even bother you? Leaving your husband in the same house with a grown-up girl. Really? Tasha, what are you talking about? Wait, you think Michael will have something to do with the maid? <laughs> Why does that even amuse you? Come on, Tasha. Michael is everything but a cheat. Talk less of doing it with the maid. Ew! Ugh. Eunice, I'm going to ask you one direct question. And I will appreciate it if you give me one direct answer. Do you still want to be married to Michael? Look, Tasha. Yes or no, please. 
Yes, but there's I... no but. You have to pack your bags and move back to your matrimonial home. Fish, poultry farming, and snail rearing are the most lucrative business I know of right now. Mm. Yeah, you know, I've been able to speak to some of my friends who are into the business, and they've been able to provide me with details that I've used to prepare that proposal. I like it. You do? Yes, and I think that if we do everything right and get our marketing right, obviously, then we won't have to work for anyone again for the rest of our lives. Okay. But what my concern is right now is, when are we expected to pay back the loan? Um, the contact person at the bank said that we can choose a flexible plan and we can spread it out for three years or even more. What about interest? Um, I think the interest rate is based on how long we service the loan. So, but ultimately it's 5 to 15%. Well, why don't you show this to your friends? Uh, I hope they like a business proposal. Oh, I'm sure they'll like it. Definitely, this is good. Um, this clause, or oh, is it phrase here? What, what, what exactly? get this straight. You told your husband that my husband has a friend who will help you facilitate 5 million naira loan. Eunice, it was the only lie I could come up with at the moment. Besides, I needed to tie up all loose ends so eventually when I get the money from Gerald, I wouldn't have any issues. <sighs> you should have asked me first before involving my husband in this whole thing. I'm sorry, I didn't think you would mind. What if my husband finds out that you have to sleep with Gerald to get the money? He would think we're beds of the feathers. Don't, don't, don't say it out so loud. Besides, why are you being so judgmental? It's not like I enjoy doing this. It's just one last shot so I could start up a business with it. So, please, Eunice, help me. Please. Hello, Tonya. Wow. Why are you staring like you just say white elephant? I'm sorry, ma. Oh. Tonya, okay. meet my sister, Natasha. Natasha, my housekeeper, Tonya. Hello. Maid. We get the rest of our stuff from the car. She's back. Who's back? Eunice. And I think Natasha has moved back with her. Hello? Are you there? Yes, Tonya. I'm here. Why are you quiet now? Uh, because I don't have anything to say. So, 
<laughs> she thinks she can just leave and then return at any time she likes. Tonya, do you think um, she told Eunice about us? No, she didn't, because she can't. Oh, why is she back now, now? She start making you sad again. <sighs> Look, um, I, I have to go, okay? I, I, I'll, I'll probably see you when I get home. Hmm? It's okay, please, just be fast, please. I wouldn't have moved back if you didn't insist. You know, she's just confused. I mean, you cannot say you want to be married and you're staying away from your marriage. Babes, really, we need to make him quit that tra taxi driving thing. What if Mabel, or someone that knows us, finds out? You know, this is okay. We're going to have a talk with him when he gets back. Fine. I need a glass of water, please. Oh, get, get me a glass of wine, too. I'm sorry. Tonya, have you packed your bags? Um, I don't have any trip to make. You're going to have to leave this house. You are in no position to tell me that. Listen, I know my sister's absence has caused some sort of um, unhealthy relationship between you and the husband. But whatever is going on between you two has to end. <laughs> so you need to leave this house. Okay, so you want to get rid of me so you can have him all to yourself? Oh, please. Whatever I had with Michael has ended. And I'm so over it. Yet you come to visit him in her absence. Hmm? Tonya, I have no explanation for you. I, I'm not even supposed to exchange words with you. And I'm not leaving this house until you leave. Hello, Mabel. So Rachel says you don't want to help her with the loan ploy, and she's not happy about that. Mabel, I'm not comfortable involving Michael in this. Well, according to her, she just wants her husband to mingle with people that matter in society. How do I explain to Michael where she's getting the five million naira from? Just... Just tell him I'm the one helping with the loan, that we just need it to look like it's from the bank so that he can take the business seriously. I still have bad feeling about this. Come on now, Eunice. This is what friends are for. I mean, since she won't agree to get out of that joke of a marriage, then let's just try and get her to our own level. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to Michael and get back to Rachel. Thank you. All right. Bye. So, what did she say? She agreed. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to talk to Michael and then she'll get back to you. Oh, thank you so much, Mabel. <laughs> You're welcome. So now you can start making arrangements for your five-day getaway with Jao. Yeah. As soon as I'm able to figure out what lie to sell to Bawali that would explain my absence for five days. Hmm. That should be easy. How about you tell him... Tell him that the bank that is giving you the loan wants to send you on a five days business seminar so as to increase your chances of return of investment. Mabel, that is brilliant. You are such an evil genius, You're Mabel. Welcome. <laughs> Cheers Fantastic. <to> that. Cheers. <laughs> wow, that is epic. Oh, I'm definitely sure he'll buy that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey you. How you doing? How's your day going? Hectic as always. Oh, sorry about that. Have you heard from Austin yet? No. And I'm going to stop trying to reach out to him until he gets back to me. I understand. Um, can I get your car keys? For what? I want to put my sleeper bag in your car. I'll be following you home today for the weekend. Did you even care to ask me if that's what I want? Sorry, sorry to bother you, sir. <laughs> Come on, I'm just joking. <laughs> You know how excited I am about this? You have a very funny way of showing you excitement. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing week. Hmm? What's going to be happening <laughs> during that time? I don't understand. Nice vigil. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Better be a vigil. I'm coming. I want to know why you decided to return. What sort of stupid question is that? It is a valid question, Eunice. Seeing as, you know, I'm not rich anymore, and that's the only thing you seem to be interested in these days anyway. Michael, are you trying to annoy me? Listen, the two of you calm down. Stop it. You have to find a common ground on how to make this marriage work. First step is for him to quit that taxi nonsense. And why would I do that? It's beneath you. Have you no shame? There is dignity in labor, Eunice. Befitting labor? How will you have time to set for a good job when you're busy driving everybody around town? Oh, Michael, look, I have a few friends. I can talk to them. Let's see if there's um, any job opening you can fit into. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture, Tash. Uh, but in the meantime, until I find a befitting job, I'm keeping my taxi business. Come in. Michael, we need to talk. I know. Tonya has to leave. Why? What do you mean by why? You know why. You said you're not sleeping with her, but that's a lie. Michael, you and I know that's a big lie. That girl needs to leave this house before my sister finds out. <sighs> Eunice doesn't even want to be here. Tash, she doesn't love me enough to want to have my own children. Why would you say something like that? <sighs> okay, one, I know she's on contraceptives. Number two, I know that she regrets marrying me. And number three, I know she's only, it's only a matter of time before she gets tired of this marriage and leaves. So you're planning to replace my sister with Tonya if that happens? I didn't say that. All I'm saying, Tash, is that Eunice doesn't deserve any respect or any kind of sacrifice from me. Boom. We were supposed to have left like 10 minutes ago and you're not even dressed. Says who? I'm ready. You must be joking. I'm not. How can you attend such business meeting dressed like this? I thought you said we were going to Eunice's house to meet the husband, right? Why are you sounding like I'm going for a job interview? Bole. Michael is a top executive in one of the biggest telecoms in the country. You need to look sharp and professional so at least he can see a friend in you. Friend? I thought we were supposed to go over there to talk on how we could get a loan for our poultry business. Yes, but it would also be nice if you end up being friends with him. Bole, when you mingle with the right people, you get to see life from the right perspective. Finding 
Eunice. I don't appreciate being dragged into this web of lies. It wasn't me. It was Rachel. Then why didn't you tell her no when she asked you to speak with me? Because she only spoke to me after she has already told her husband that you're helping her facilitate a loan from your bank as friend. Then why didn't she tell her husband the truth? What, 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 what's all this? Eh? Why didn't she just tell, her, tell him that it was Mabel that's giving them a loan? Two reasons. Bowale doesn't like Mabel. Secondly, she needs him to take the business seriously. I see. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is it you want me to say again? How many times will I tell you the same thing? Oh, I'm sorry. My brain is very weak when it comes to lies telling. Mm -hmm. Please walk me through it again. Guys, she's coming, she's coming, okay? Are we ready? Sure. Then move it. Ah. Oh, come on. Good know? afternoon, man. Fine, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Um, yeah. is, uh, is Eunice home? Yes, ma'am. She is. Okay. Um, could you please tell her that Mr. and Mrs. Abiodun are, are here to see them? Okay, ma'am. No problem. Please have your seat. Thank you. Yeah, it's nothing like I'm trying to call him, you know. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, I will, I will get back to you as soon as I get the necessary information. Hello, Bowale. Hi. <laughs> okay, um, let me start by saying that I really appreciate what your husband is doing in order to help us. And um, I hope that you and I can finally forget whatever that has happened between us in the past. Oh, water under the bridge. Oh, my baby's here. Hello. Hey. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Abiodun. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. Hi, Michael. Hi. Long time. Um, Michael, this is my husband, mm -hmm. Boali. Boali. Mm -hmm. Michael. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. Yeah. Um, Mr. Boali, have we met before? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, what can we offer you? Yes, yes. Um, Exactly as you say, if you really want to live your life. What do you want? I like you. You're asking the right question. Who wants a hundred million naira? Who do we talk to? Mm 
need to get to know you better. How? You don't like being pressured. <laughs> you like doing your thing in your own time and pace. True. But I would like to know how you came about that realization. <laughs> I've been asking you to come spend the weekend like forever. The moment I stopped asking, you made it happen. Like you rightly said, my time and my pace. <laughs> Hello, Mabel. Listen and listen good. My best life is now in your hands. So whatever I do from henceforth determines if she's going to leave or dies. Who's this? I'm the one you're going to give a hundred million naira. Else, never dies. Do you have any idea who you're about to cross? I will give you some time to think about the consequences of trying to be smart or disobey my direct orders. Wait, can I speak with Mabel, please? What's going on? Mabel has been kidnapped and they're asking for a hundred millionaire ransom. Hi, Ines. Hey, you. Where's Michael? He just stepped out. Um, Eunice, what are your stuff doing in the guest room where I'm putting up? I'm moving to the guest room with you. I'm not comfortable sharing the same bed with Michael. One thing I know for sure is you cannot be one leg in, one leg out in a marriage like the way you're doing, Eunice. If you want to be with this man, be with him. And if you're tired of the marriage, get a divorce already. Hmm? Who is talking about divorce? Tasha, you have no idea how difficult it is to be married to a poor man. No wonder Rachel desires to sleep with another man to raise money mm -mm, for her business. Don't even go there. Both of us know that what Rachel did is totally wrong. I mean, how can she sleep with another man and lie to her husband she got a loan from the bank? Is she supposed to tell you the truth? Whatever, she's not even supposed to go down that road at all. I think that, uh, that, that Maybell girl of yours is, is, is the bad company both of you need to stay away from. Really? Yes. I don't know why he's yet to reply any of my messages. Are you sure that message delivered? Yes. How can I send you a message that your wife has been kidnapped for almost 24 hours? I won't even bother you. Have you heard from the kidnappers since their first contact? No. And Mabel's phone has been switched off. Do you think we should go to the police? No, no, no. We can't do that. We don't know who is here. And Mabel getting home safe is our first priority. We yeah. can't afford to do that. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Ah. Hey. Michael, what are you doing here? You're really going to keep pretending like you don't remember. Well, um, you said the same thing the last time when we came to visit you over the weekend, and I told you I don't. Fine. Let me remind you then of um, about two weeks ago, a certain taxi driver brought a pregnant woman to come around here to look for you. You didn't have enough cash to pay him, so you had to go in and get money from your colleagues. Oh, so you're the taxi driver? <laughs> it's a small world, my brother. And besides, the drama from that day was so much that it's almost impossible to not remember. Oh, anyway, God. does Rachel know that another woman is pregnant for you? Hello? It's me again, Derek. I'm sure you've had time to think about how important it is to keep to my words. Yes. Good. I may not keep my here for too long. I'm sure she misses the comfort at home. Can I speak with Mabel, please? Yeah, sure. Talk. Hello, Derek. Derek, please just give them what they want. I need to leave this place, please. How are you, Mabel? Not okay. She is not okay. I will call you by this time tomorrow and make sure you have a hundred million naira split in two bags ready to be delivered. A hundred million naira is a lot of money. I know. Are you saying that Mabel's life is not worth that much? No. Maybe we can just make it easy for both of us. We can calm down a little bit. Okay, how much can you offer? 20 million. 80 million. We can do 30 million. 70 will be fine if you want her back intact without any scratch. But anything less than that may attract a little scratch on her. The choice is yours. Rachel does not have any idea, and honestly, Rachel cannot know. So you plan on keeping this a secret until she delivers? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll just have to hide it for as long as possible. Look, Bawali, I, I don't mean to judge, okay? But I'm surprised, considering how religious and, and strict that my wife claims you are. Of course I am. This was just the work of the devil, all right? Hello. She was just a normal church member, and we were always having fellowship at her house. Huh? I see. So, house fellowship that gradually, somehow, became bedroom fellowship. I, I, I get it. I really don't expect you to understand, <laughs> okay? But wait, oh, if you're a top executive at a telecoms company like your wife said you were, yeah. how come you're a taxi driver? Ah, but while it's a long story, the summary of which is, Things aren't always the way they seem. Um, do you want something? Tonya, you are a very young girl with so many opportunities ahead of you. Don't let your emotions cloud your sense of reasoning. Please, what do you want? Listen, I know how hard it can be to fall in love with somebody you think has your back because both of you had sex. But trust me, you're just hanging on to a mirage. 
They should go and leave us alone. Was he your first? Listen, I know the attachment and obsession that comes with someone who took your virginity is way stronger. So are you now admitting that you still want him? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. He's already married to my sister. Listen, Tonya, I'm just trying to help you out here. I'm not the enemy. I just don't want you to make the same mistakes I made by being delusional. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to help me now? Well, as crazy as it may sound, yes, I'm trying to help you. So pack your bags and leave this house. Go see what the outside world has for you. Because there is no future whatsoever left for you here. It's about time you called. You didn't see my messages. I was cut up at work. How is Meadow doing? She's alive. That's all I know. The kidnappers just called an hour ago when I was able to negotiate 70 million with them. I hope you're happy now, Derek. What are you talking about? This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't turned down Sanchez's partnership deal. Wait. You think Sanchez kidnapped Mabel? Yes, but I don't know if he's still in the country. He's still in Nigeria. Contact him. Appeal to him and give them whatever they want. The kidnappers asked for 70 million. Do I give it to them if they insist? Do you hear what I said? Give them whatever they want. I have too much on my plate right now over here. Handle the matter and make sure my wife is back home safe when next I call. He thinks it's Sanchez. I have reasons to believe so too. Maybe he's trying to force my hand to do his bidding. There's only one way to find out. Hello, Sanchez. It's been a while. So she hasn't been here today? No, ma. And she wasn't here yesterday either. I went to her house and the gate man said she didn't come home yesterday. Wow. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is it possible that she traveled out of the country? She didn't mention anything about traveling. Okay, why not you guys check her social media pages to see her last post? Sweet. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Sonia, is um, lunch ready? Oh, yes. Please, fish from. Are you aware that Rachel is sleeping with another man to raise the five million naira for her poultry business? Tonya, what nonsense are you talking about? And, and how do you even know about the poultry business and the money? She was here with her husband a few days ago to discuss it with you. And you were manipulated to lie that you were the one helping her get the loan from the bank. How do you know that Rachel is sleeping with another man? I heard Madame tell Natasha, if Rachel is sleeping with another man for money, I wonder what your wife is doing as well. Especially all those while that she was away from home. Hello, Sanchez. It's good, bro. I hope this meeting is not going to be another waste of my time. Thank you for agreeing to come over. Yeah. Well, let's just hope that you don't have time to think about things and uh, 
Got your head on straight. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, so it's good. So how is this going to work? Am I supposed to give you my word that NetSuiz will partner with you before you release Mabel? What are you talking about? Let's not waste each other's time, Sanchez. I want Mabel released today. First of all, I don't know who this Mabel is. I don't know where you want her released from, but I don't know nothing about that, man. I'll play dumb with you. Mabel is Austin's wife, and she was kidnapped yesterday. <laughs> and you think I did that? Yes. And I'd like to know if I should give you the 70 million naira ransom, or you send your boys to come get it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say this one more time. I know nothing about no kidnapping, all right? The beef I got is with you and your brother Austin. Now, if anybody was gonna get kidnapped, it'd be either you or him or both of y'all. You feel me? Are you sure you know nothing about this? Why are you wasting my time over here talking about some kidnapping? I thought we were talking talk about some money. Talk about some Has Mabel given Rachel the five million naira for her poultry business? Not yet. We haven't even heard from her for the past two days. So is Mabel actually giving Rachel the money or she's collecting from some man that she's cheating on her husband with? Where did you hear that from? Is it a lie? I don't know. You don't know what it is. So Rachel is cheating on her husband. Are you telling me or asking me? They deserve each other anyway. What do you mean by that? So the seminar will run for five days and it's compulsory for all loan applicants. I would have asked you to come with me, but it's not advisable for you to be absent from work for five days. It's okay. Yeah, you can go. Because I'm really not ready to quit my job until this whole loan thing pulls through. And also our poultry business picks up. Yeah. I'm pretty optimistic about it. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, it's, that, that was my colleague from the office. He's actually calling to remind me that I, I'm supposed to help him out with an assignment here. Oh, okay.
Is it the same person? Yeah. Well, maybe you should have taken the call. It could be important. Not at all. Uh, I already know what he wants to ask. Okay. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night, baby. Sir, she has been kidnapped for three days now. And at first, we thought it was Austin's business associate that was trying to scare him off because Derek refused his partnership proposal. But as we speak right now, we don't know who is behind it. When is Austin coming back to town? Very soon. But let's just hope that this kidnap incident will bring him faster. That's what that matters to me. I really don't care about Mabel's kidnap. Okay, sir. I was hoping you could activate a team, you know, to track the ransom money down so that we could know who these kidnappers are and arrest them. I'm not going to waste any resources on that. We're already spending enough as it is on trying to nab Austin. Today, maybe tomorrow, next week, or maybe never. Never? Wait, please, I beg you, don't kill me. And I thought Derek said he was going to make the money available today. He's wanting to make a promise, and it's another thing to keep it. And I hope they know that I have nothing to lose if they try to defeat from the original plans. Yes, okay, okay. Can I speak to Derek myself? Let me talk to him. Let me make him understand that it's my life at risk here. Please. Hello. Do you have my money ready? Yes. Are you going to send me an account detail so I can make payments? <laughs> I like your sense of humor. Can we get this done and over with? I need Mabel at home today. That is totally up to you. I will call you in an hour's time to tell you where to drop the money. Meanwhile, let me give Mabel a phone to tell you how important it is to follow my instructions thoroughly. Hello, Derek. Derek, please, I beg you, don't make these people kill me unnecessarily. It's just money they want. Give them what they want. I beg you. Just do as they say, Derek, please. It's okay, Mabel. I understand. One hour. And have in mind that I will have my ears and eyes everywhere. If you try to deviate from the original plans, that means Mabel's blood will be on your hands. Hey, you. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? It was good. <laughs> I haven't heard from Mabel. And she hasn't posted anything on social media for the past three days. That's serious, though. Yeah. He needs to go to her house later again today. I will do that. Sis. Yeah? 
I'm looking for my jewelry. Yes, I've searched everywhere in the guest room for them. <laughs> Are you sure you came with them? What do you mean? I'm like, yes, I came with them. Then go back to your room and search. It will be somewhere now. Jean, it's okay. Come and search with me. Let's go. Okay. Since you have decided to be unreasonable, I will show you that I can be heartless too. Well, my wife... My wife is around. So? Hey. Hello, please. Please. Please don't do this to me. Huh? Please. Just think about what this thing would do to my reputation in church. Please. Stop avoiding my calls and start paying attention to my money needs. I promise I will. I will, please. Hey, Jesus. Are you okay? Yes. Why are you kneeling down? I was praying to God. I thought I heard voices. Oh, it was me praying. Oh, honey, you know we need money. Yeah. Huh? Right. I'll see you later. Natasha is looking for her jewelry, and we searched everywhere in the guest room. We couldn't find them. No, oh, she must have misplaced them or something. Mm -mm. Someone took them. Oh, that's not possible. <laughs> you know what? Let's just search around here. Maybe. I, I didn't drop them in this room. Somebody went to my room and took my jewelry. Look, Natasha, if Eunice didn't take them and I didn't take them, then clearly you're. You know, your argument doesn't make sense. Well, I asked Tonya to clean up my room yesterday. <laughs> and I'm very sure she saw them. No, don't even go there. She's not that kind of a person. No. Excuse you? So my jewelry just suddenly developed wings and flew out of the window. I don't get it. Tash, Tash, look. Tonya has worked with us for almost two years now. And in the two years she's been here, we've not even looked for one single grain of rice. There's always a first time. I suggest we go search her room. I don't think that is such a good idea, Tash. I also don't think it should be an issue with you guys, since you people trust her so much. Hi, Tonya. Is everything alright, ma'am? We're looking for something and we've searched everywhere in the house except here, so we're here to search here too. Why are you talking to her as if you need her consent to search anywhere in the house? Tash, this is her room, okay? And you can't just invade her privacy without at least explaining why. Okay, now that we're done explaining why, can we please search? Tonya, Natasha here lost some of her jewelries. And we're no, just... No, it's fine, sir. You can go ahead and search the room. It's okay. You need to fetch this box.
Hello, Eloha. I thought you were not going to take my call again. Thank you for the understanding you showed at my place. I need money, Bowali. All right, I'm going to see if I can raise a loan from some of my colleagues. Okay, just give me some time, all right? Um, I'm gonna talk to my wife. She's expecting a substantial amount of money from a loan she's expecting from a bank. So as soon as she gets that, I'll, I'll make sure something gets to you. How much are we talking about? Well, she's expecting about five million naira. So I will ensure at least a million gets to you. No, I want two million. Give me that and I might never bother you again. They are not here. No, you didn't search well. This is a waste of time. I don't think so. <laughs> Tasha, they are not here. Let's go. Wait, what? But my cherries didn't disappear. Let's go! Um, Sonia, my apologies for the inconvenience. It's Tasha, okay. please let's go. Tasha! Please. What's good, bro? I wasn't expecting you, Sanchez. I figured I'd come check in on the whole Mabel kidnapping situation. What's going on with that, bro? Are you sure you don't know? Bro, you should think it has something to do with that. I turned down your request on the partnership, and you made it very clear that you didn't like that. All right, yeah. Yeah, I felt disrespected. I felt betrayed seeing as your brother Austin owes me a lot and is in my debt. But when we got beef, we settle it gangland to gangland. You see what I'm saying? Family is off limit. You feel me? We're planning on paying the kidnappers the ransom. The money's ready, we're just waiting on their call. No, 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 no. You can't do that. We ain't punks. We ain't some powerless losers that they can extort from us by kidnapping one of us. No, what we need to do is go after them and make sure they never do this again. You see what I'm saying? We need to go after them and make them pay so they know never to touch one of ours again. Sorry, I didn't know you were in the meeting. It's fine. You can join us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is she going to join us for this meeting? Isn't she just a member of your staff? She's my girlfriend. <laughs> and she has the ransom money in the bag. Oh, she's your girlfriend. Yeah, I sent it to the bank. Oh, well, that's cute. That doesn't mean she has a right to sit at this table. You have nothing to worry about, Sanchez. I trust her. You trust her? Oh. Hello, Mr. Sanchez. So where are we with the kidnappers? We're waiting on their call, but Sanchez is of the opinion we do not pay them the ransom. How are we supposed to get Mabel back? We stole till we find out who these people are behind this. What if they harm her? And how do you think that paying them isn't going to stop them from doing that? Yes, because it's money they want. Are you sure about that? I would like to think so. See, even if we want to investigate who these criminals are, we need to make sure that Mabel is back home. And the only way we can do that is to pay the ransom. All right, Mr. Boyfriend, what you going to do?
Tasha. I think you should just go over to your place and search for the jewelries. I didn't drop them at my place. I'm sure Tonya took them. We both searched her room. Eunice, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm telling you. Tonya, she has been very helpful to us. Even when we could not afford to pay her salary, she even volunteered to work free for us. Really? And you didn't think that was weird? No, she's just a nice person and she's loyal. Uh -huh. I bet she is. You know what? I'm going to see Mabel. So let me just go and check on her. I'll see you when I get back. All right? Bye. Where are they? Um, where are we? My jewelries. But you searched my room already. Oh, please cut that crap. You and I know the truth. And what is the truth? Listen, I want to have my jewelries back. They are expensive. What is the truth, Miss Natasha? That you took... That you saw the jewelries in your bag and moved them. But why are you so sure those jewelries were in my bag? Because... Listen. I need to have my jewelries back. But you know I didn't take those jewelries from your room like you told your sister and Michael. Oh! So you and Michael are now on first name basis. Please, I need to get back to work. Michael, mm -hmm. you have to tell that Tonya girl to return my jewelries. What is wrong with you, Tash? Come on. Listen, I can't just forget about my jewelries. They're expensive. Tasha, she did not take your jewelry. Stop being troublesome. Come on. Okay. Here's the truth. I planted the jewelries myself in Tonya's bag so as to give Eunice enough reason to kick her out of the house. Wait, what? Listen, Michael, I was only trying to help you out here. Help? By implicating an innocent girl? That girl is everything but innocent. She has to leave. <sighs> no. Tash. I think you were the one who's overstayed her welcome. Hello? I'll be sending the address where you take the money to. Then my guys will pick it up from there and confirm the cash. Will Mabel be at the drop-off point? No. So, how do I get Mabel back? You have to wait for my instructions after the drop-off. I thought this was supposed to be an exchange. I give you the money, I get Mabel back immediately. No. You give us the money, and when we're certain that you're not trying to be smart, I think I will allow me to drive home myself. I'm afraid that won't work. Do you think you're in a position to argue with me? How do I know you keep up to the own end of the deal? <laughs> you have to trust me, man. You understand if I say I don't? Okay, then. Then we'll forget about this whole thing and get rid of Mabel. That is not an option. Not from where I stand. But nothing changes the plan. Okay. What do I do, guys? What do you do, guys? Let's just give them this money and hope that they keep to their own end of the deal, please. No, 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 no. Listen, bro. 
I say we use this money as bait. And when whoever shows up from them at the pickup, we grab him and then we make him tell us where Mabel is, man. I'm putting Mabel's life at risk. Don't, don't mind him. What do you think? What makes us think that they'll give her back to us when they already have the money, man? Because they have no reason to keep her or harm her. And how are you so sure? Are you one of them? Are you, you want to kidnap us now? Derek, please do not listen to him. I know for sure they're going to harm her if we're going to go according to his own plan. Please, let's just give them the money. That's the only safe option we have right now. All right, lover boy. Natasha told me the truth about the jewelry. And what did she say? She said she planted it in your bag so that you need to find it and get rid of you. Why is she so desperate to get rid of me? I'm sure you know why. Um, yes, I do. Because she wants to keep you for herself. I don't think that's the reason, Tonya. I mean, she's just looking out for her sister, that's all. <laughs> You're right. Did you find the jewelry? Um, yes. I was trying to get a change of clothes that night when I found them. So where are they now? Yeah. Thank you. She still had to stop trying to get rid of me before somebody gets hurt. Hello, you're home. Yeah. How's your day? Well. It was okay. You know, uh, I really cannot wait to be my own boss, though. I'm, oh. I'm so tired of people asking me to work like, like a robot and never complain. Oh, well, that's good. What is? It's good that finally you realize that it doesn't really make sense working for anyone. Because the paycheck never really commensurates with the workload. Yeah, uh, honey, where exactly are we on the loan application for our poultry business? Um, they're still processing it. I'm guessing it should take about two weeks at most. Oh, that's great. Hmm. I'm very hopeful, fingers crossed. Okay. Okay, um, fresh enough, I'll go get you dinner. Oh, okay. I'll, All right. I'll do just that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Derek, what is wrong with you? Why are you debating the terms of my release? Relax, Mabel. We're only trying to ensure you get home safe. Then give them your damn money and stop negotiating, Derek! What is it going to be, Derek? My way or the highway? Send me the address. I'll deliver the money. Do you have the money right there with you? Yes. 70 million naira in cash. Good. This is the part where you listen and listen good. There's a car packed in front of your office. Put both open. Drop the money into the car. Close it. Then walk away. Do not look at the driver or get into the car. If you try to deviate from this simple instruction, that means you will never hear from me again or Mabel. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I'll give you three minutes. And your time starts now. Just do as this should go, please. Bro, listen, the guy is outside. 
It's gonna be easier to grab him than I thought. I say we grab this dude and we bring him in here for questioning, man. If you do any other thing different from this instruction, they're going to zoom off and they will kill her. Derek, you just have three minutes. Why are you so determined for this kidnappers to get paid? I am determined that Mabel gets back here safe. Derek, man. Really? Okay. Thank you. Oh, Mother, it's time to go. Okay. You find us, son. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, I'm done, I'm wait, okay, wait, just wait. Did Derek pay? Okay, okay, just wait. Give me one, just give me one more chance. I'll call him and I'll oh, he's going to pay. I swear. Shut up! Just one more call. Shut up! He'll pay. One time, please let me. Shut up! Just one more call, please. We've no use dead to you. Just give me one more chance to call Jerry. Jerry, wait, please. Stop. Shut up, let's go. Move it. Move it. <laughs> It's been over an hour and we still ain't heard nothing from them. Let's just wait now. I'm sure he will call. Well, I'm sure if we had grabbed him like I said we should have slapped him and dragged him around a bit, we'd have got some useful information. Ah, oh, it was never a good plan in any way. Well, let's just see how your perfect plan plays out. Thank you. 